Good afternoon, everyone, or good morning, or good evening, wherever you might be around the world. For those of you who don't know me, I am Anne Marie Slaughter. I am the CEO of New America. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the eighth annual Future Security Forum. This year, our forum is a little different uh, than in years past. Uh, there is a great deal to discuss in the world. This forum is taking place as Russia's invasion of Ukraine has riveted our attention and also escalated concern about renewed great power competition, rising authoritarianism, uh, and really the intersection of security and democracy, which is exactly our theme uh, for this conference. But the issues tying together security and democracy extend well beyond the war in Ukraine. We're going to hear about their intertwining and with regard to Afghanistan, India, China, uh, in cyberspace, and also here in the United States when it comes to domestic terrorism. One of the great things uh, about this forum is that it is a signature event for our partnership, for New America's partnership with Arizona State University. Uh, that partnership has been hugely beneficial uh, to both parties, and it is an innovative uh, arrangement with ASU, which is the most innovative university in America, and indeed uh, thinks of itself as the new American university, just as we think of ourselves as standing for and helping to shape uh, the America that is emerging, the new America. Uh, I want to thank President Michael Crow, uh, Evelyn Farkas, whom I will be uh, introducing, who has taken over the McCain Institute and is a, a longstanding friend of mine and Peter Bergen's, uh, will be speaking on behalf of ASU. Uh, but I always have to thank President Crow uh, for his vision in agreeing uh, to this fellowship. On this uh, Forum is also the result of the Future of War Project, which has been led by Peter Bergen on the New America side and Daniel Rothenberg on the ASU side uh, for eight years. We've hosted over 150 events uh, in Arizona and in Washington. We've reached thousands of thought leaders and journalists and government officials, students, members of the military, and anyone interested in the future of security. Uh, the creation of the Center on the Future of War, which is based uh, at ASU, uh, has grown from Peter and Daniel, Daniel to a team of 20 faculty members and over 150 affiliated faculty from multiple fields. We've done research projects on drones, terrorism, proxy war, and other issues. Faculty have published over more than 15 books, faculty and fellows, and won major prizes and grants. Most recently, co-directors Peter and Daniel, alongside Candace Rondo, another ASU professor of the practice and now director of the Future Frontlines and Planetary Politics Initiatives at New America, uh, and David Sturman published an edited volume entitled Understanding the New Proxy Wars. I strongly recommend it. Proxy wars have been with us for a long time, but there's a new generation of proxy wars uh, reflecting uh, the new configuration of power in the world. We've also created an online master's in global security, which is now in its sixth year, uh, we have over 150 current students and nearly 300 graduates. ASU and the Center uh, 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 on the Future of War uh, also supports uh, a group of uh, New America fellows. I also have to thank, uh, I don't have to thank, I want to thank uh, our confer conference organizing partners this year. In addition to ASU and New America, uh, the Strategic Studies Institute of the Army War College, led by Director Carol Evans, 
and the Joint Special Operations University, led by President Colonel Ike Wilson, who is also a New America International Security Fellow and a professor of the practice at ASU. Finally, the Future Security Forum is a different kind of Washington, D.C. policy conference. Uh, it is designed to be smaller uh, in ways that encourage active conversation. Uh, we've had thousands of attendees uh, over our eight years, but when we were physical, we were able to hold it in a relatively small room, and we try to create that feeling virtually uh, as well. We also see uh, this conference as an opportunity to exemplify what we at New America see as a central part of our mission to honestly confront the challenges caused by rapid technological and social change. The last thing I wanna mention is to comment on the New America Army Fellowship. We have been delighted to host Army Fellows uh, since 2018. Uh, a year ago, our fourth New America Army Fellow, Colonel Crystal Hills, uh, joined our team, and even though uh, we are only now really back in the office, uh, we have been able to forge very valuable connections, and we were delighted to host her. This year, we are thrilled to welcome our newest uh, Army Fellow, uh, Colonel uh, Carmelia J. Scott Skillen, Skillern, I'm sorry, uh, to the New America team. So now let me introduce uh, my colleague and friend, Evelyn Farkas, the director of the McCain Institute for International Leadership at ASU. Evelyn, let me turn to you. Well, thank you so much, Anne-Marie. Um, thank you for including me. Um, for those who have not met me, I am Evelyn Farkas, the executive director, the new executive director of the McCain Institute at Arizona State University. Um, we are at the McCain Institute inspired, of course, by the legacy of the great late Senator McCain. And what we do is basically boldly advance democracy, human dignity, and security. We are committed to serving causes greater than ourselves, and our vision is a world that is free, safe, and just for all people. And we do that through our programming, focusing on human rights, democracy, and leadership. I'm really pleased to join today's event. I had the um, pleasure several years ago, actually, of speaking at this forum. And um, I know that you will have a really interesting conversation. And I actually was bemoaning the fact that I can't stay for the whole thing. So I'll have to look at this on video. Um, you have some really, really timely panels, Anne-Marie, as you mentioned, um, the Ukraine panels in particular, including on special operations forces. Um, so again, I'm going to look to that video. <laughs> um, this is really a unique partnership, as you mentioned, Anne-Marie, between Arizona State University and New America. As you mentioned, New, uh, the Arizona State University is really one of the most innovative, if not the most innovative universities in the world. And the Center for the Future of War and ASU have teamed up to put together this flagship symposium year after year and to the great benefit of both organizations and all of the participants. The program is part of our identity at ASU of a comprehensive public research university. And ASU measures itself not by whom it excludes, but by whom they include, whom we include, and how they succeed. And we are always advancing research and the discovery of public value, assuming fundamental responsibility for the economic, social, cultural, and overall health of, com of the communities ASU serves. This semester, there are over 140,000 undergraduate and graduate students registered for classes, a significant increase from last year. And again, that is another objective. ASU ranks sixth in the United States also for research expenditures among universities without a medical school having increased research from 123 million in 2002 to 673 million today. So the theme of this year's forum is securing democracies. This of course is also a passion of the McCain Institute. One of the most pressing issues today is really the rising influence and power of authoritarian regimes alongside the substantive threats to democratic rule. And engaging this issue like so many future security challenges 
requires new approaches, ideas, and a commitment to innovation. Institutions like ours are crucial to redefining national and global security. We are committed to lifelong learning, to advancing our thinking and solving problems on all of this. So we really just want to echo the thanks um, that Anne-Marie gave to President Crow. I obviously am not President Crow, but I am representing him. But thank you nonetheless to President Crow. Thank you for everyone at New America for organizing this, um, the McCain Institute team. And with that, I bid you a great conference.